Hey there, in this video, we're going to be creating a cartoon AI version of a teacher. We'll be customizing the image by tweaking keywords and exploring use cases in teaching. Is this a new Bitmoji craze? Who's to say, but I'm certainly excited about it. To start, we'll be using the Magic Studio feature called Text to Image. Currently, you can use a Magic Studio feature up to 25 times with a free Canva account and up to 250 times per month with a premium account. There are a bunch of really cool AI tools in Magic Studio. One of them is the text generator Magic Write. If you're interested in speeding up your teaching prep using Magic Write, check out the video linked above. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay up to date with the latest trends in teaching with technology. So let's head on to Canva and create our design. I'll be choosing a square canvas, but you can choose any canvas. Head on to apps in the side menu. And we're going to find Magic Media. You can also search it in the search bar above. Here we can access text to image, which allows us to use keywords to create our image. For our example, we're going to create a cartoon image of a teacher. So let's put in some keywords. We'll first use Pixar. I'm going to use female teacher. I want it to be 3D, ultra realistic and chibi. Chibi is an animated style which exaggerates some character features such as having a larger head, larger eyes and a smaller body. For tips and ideas on keywords, check out my free guide. I'll have a link in the description below. In the guide, I'll have some different image examples so that you can get closer and closer to the ideal image that you want. Next, we'll select the style. For me, I found that Dreamy works well. You can also choose the aspect ratio. For me, I'll be using the square. Once you're done, select Create. The AI then creates some images that you can choose from. For me, I'm going to tweak the keywords a little bit and I'm going to include long black hair and we can press generate again. Once you find an image that you like, you can then go ahead and click into it, or you can also generate some like images. Let's go ahead and add this image. If you don't like any of the images, you can go ahead and select generate again, or you can continue to tweak the keywords. If you like most of the image, you can also edit the image to erase or add items into the picture. To do this, let's select the image and let's say I want to erase the pencil here. Select edit photo. We're going to be using the tool magic eraser. Sometimes the AI will create things that just don't seem right and you can go ahead and erase them. In the same manner, you can also add things in with the magic edit. In this example, let's use the magic eraser. Once you're done with your editing, select the back button. As you can see, we've erased the pencil. Another thing we can do is erase the background. Let's first duplicate this image, select the photo, edit photo, and we're going to be using the background remover. As you can see, it didn't work as well as intended. But what we can do is then go ahead and continue erasing different parts of the image. Select the background remover again, and you'll be led to this page where you can erase or restore parts of the image. Once you're done, you might like to crop the image and you can start to use this image with other backgrounds. Let's go ahead and select the background. Here 
If you want to use the AI image elsewhere in Canva, you can just go ahead and copy it into another canvas. Otherwise, you might even just want to download the image with a transparent background and use it with your other designs later on. So what are some teaching use cases? The first one is just using your AI image in your digital resources. For this example, I'm just going to copy an AI image directly from a different design into these slides. And for this AI image, I've just tweaked the keywords to include standing and pointing. So this is what it looks like. The next teaching use case is to design an image for a writing or discussion prompt. So here's an example, and I've just included the keyword here, shocked. Students can use this image prompt for creative writing. For the next example, you can create custom AI images of significant people in history. Here we've got Einstein. You can then go ahead and insert this into your resources. We all look forward to the holidays. You can use the AI image generator to create some custom themed images. In this case, we've just added the keyword Christmas. Last but not least, you can create some custom stickers that you can use with your digital resources. If you would like to see a video on how to create this, let me know in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and copy this into our digital resource that we had earlier. And we're just gonna stick it here on the bottom left corner. You can also go ahead and export the sticker and use it elsewhere. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to also share your creations with me on social media with the tags here. Until next time, take care. Bye.